Right, let's get straight to it, shall we? There is absolutely no fancy tips and tricks, apart from re-engineering your environment, that can be done to help you improve your level of focus and concentration. A high level of focus either comes naturally from an individual's immense sense of curiosity, interests and fascination towards an object or subject, and or actively from regular training and practice in order to improve its level of intensity and duration. As I've said many times, we all live in this age full of cheap and instant distractions, leading to the endless seek for novelty, lowering our tolerance for dopamine dosage, and eventually turning us into people who always set to experience massive withdrawal symptoms every time we ran out of stuff to look at or listen to on our phone, i.e. severe cases of ADHD. I bet most of you couldn't even stare at the ceiling for 5 minutes straight without frantically and agitatedly looking around you for any signs of novelty that you can utilize so your brain can inject that much needed dopamine surge. That is why most of you when you put your phone down or back into your pocket or pouch you'll find that it will only take you mere seconds before you inevitably reach for it and turn it back on again. Our lack of focus and our insatiable thirst for constant novelty is primarily the reason why we cannot withstand even a slight bit of boredom and mundaneness. That is why more and more people today tend to quit or delay on their tasks very early on in the beginning, even tasks that are necessary. That is why most of us are not able to become relatively proficient at something because we ourselves are unable to enter a high level of immersion without inadvertently diverting our thoughts and concentration to somewhere, something and or someone else. That is why a lot of us now rarely display or feel any form of gratitude because our minds are always actively looking for the next hit of dosage. The best example being we now often always busy capturing moments on our phone to get as much positive validation online for our entire self-esteem to depend on instead of being actively present to both immerse and cherish the moments that we are experiencing at the time. Now whether your lack of focus and ability to pay attention for long periods of time are doing you a disservice in life, it's all subjective. I can't have an absolution that everyone whose attention span is equal or lower to that of a goldfish would constantly suffer from unfavorable circumstances in their lives. But for those of you who are actually suffering at work or in your personal life because of it, you will have to realize that this particular trait is an ability that must be trained and practiced over time in order to cultivate and eventually instilled as a retroactive habit. It's not a trait that you can simply catch or develop out of thin air. You need to actively utilize it day in and day out like trying to grow your muscles. And let me tell you, it's not that easy. Most of you listening to this wouldn't even bother to put in the extra work even after watching this video or because it's quote unquote boring or mundane. Yes, I do mean that because if you think developing focus and attention span at work is crucial, it's actually even more crucial to put effort into developing them outside of work when you are bored to death. Because during work, at least there is already something readily available for us to try and impose our focus on. But outside of work is where all the distractions will seduce you. And if you cannot develop a relatively strong tolerance against them, it will eventually affect or infect your level of focus at work for the worst. Which is why, being the generous man that I am, I present you with one simple exercise to help you improve your focus and attention span. And you can utilize this exercise in your free time as well, or even extend the duration by playing the video at half speed. Look at this candle. Try and focus all your thoughts on this candle for one full minute. Yes, it's not a measly 15 seconds or 30 seconds. We're going to go the full home run, yeah? Now, what I mean by focus is not just to stare at it or think and imagine something else completely different while staring at it. No. What I mean by focus is to immerse yourself in both the inner workings of the candle, i.e. its properties, how it's ignited, how it stays ignited and how it will eventually be put off on its own, and its possible practical applications, i.e. what circumstances and occasions can the candle be utilized for. The purpose of this training is not only to improve the intensity and duration of your concentration but also to improve your accessibility to focus in moments where you don't want to. Focus your thoughts only on those things that involve or revolve around and having something to do with the candle itself for one whole minute. And no, I won't be putting a timer beside it otherwise you gentlemen will only focus on the clock and force yourself through the process. And also no, there will be no outro for this video otherwise most of you will just slit the player to the final part of the video. You bunch of sneaky bastards. Remember, this is not your GCEs or your A-levels so just relax because it's also part of the training. But anyways, hope you're ready gentlemen. It starts now.
Thank you for your commitment.